The use of Okta's Desktop MFA for macOS further strengthens the security of a user's authentication of Apple computers. This customizable solution is designed to configure the sign-in flow into a macOS workstation. The secured sign-in flow will prompt a user for multi-factor authentication after the username and password are entered, and includes an offline sign-in method that can be used in cases where an internet connection is not available. Now to configure Okta's Desktop MFA, you will need an Okta Identity Engine Tenant Org, where Okta's Desktop MFA will be enabled and assigned to your Okta users. Okta Verify will have to be configured as an authenticator the workstation will require. And a Mobile Device Management or MDM solution should also be set up and available to deploy Okta Verify and the required configuration profiles to the targeted endpoints. So let's take a look at Okta's Desktop MFA in this technical demonstration. We'll start with configuring the Okta org tenant. Now for this demonstration, Okta Desktop MFA has already been enabled and I can now configure and assign it to my users. From the admin console, we'll use the applications menu and click the Desktop MFA application. Under the general settings, you can view the unique client credentials that have been generated for the application. Under the assignments tab, we can assign the application to individual users or groups. And in this demonstration, we're going to use our mobile workforce group that I created earlier. Now that we have the environment set up, let's move on and prepare the workstation to use this new feature. Now I've used my MDM solution to enroll the macOS computer, deploy Okta Verify, and install the configuration profiles that are needed to use Desktop MFA. With this configuration in place, we can now log out and begin configuring it for the Okta user. From here, we'll log in as Brady Smith, and as you can see, we're being prompted to configure Okta device access. We'll click Continue and sign into Okta, using Okta Verify as the authenticator to verify Brady's identity. Next, we'll need to set up an offline device code using Okta Verify. So we'll use our mobile device and the QR code to enroll the device for the offline access code. And once entered, the user configuration is complete, and the user will now use Desktop MFA to securely authenticate into the macOS computer. Now when Brady logs into the computer, he'll be prompted with one of three options. An online Okta Verify push notification, an online Okta Verify OTP or code, and an offline device access code. Brady can choose which option to use before gaining access to the computer. An added value to Okta's Desktop MFA is that it can be used right alongside Okta's Desktop Password Sync, where the user's Okta password can be synchronized with the user's macOS login password, removing the need to remember multiple passwords. Desktop MFA supports phishing-resistant, hardware-protected FIDO2 WebAuthN online factors. Okta users can enroll a WebAuthN authenticator such as a YubiKey to use as an online factor during the authentication process. Once enrolled, the user can sign in and will be presented with four options to verify their identity. Okta Verify push notification, Okta Verify one-time passcode, an offline device access code, and the device access key. When this option is used, the user can insert their key and verify their identity in order to complete the desktop sign-in process. Now for more information about Okta's Desktop MFA and other Okta device access features, please visit our website at www.okta.com.